hi guys um, back for Wednesday's lesson now so you have planned your writing now today we're going to write our introduction for our instructional text okay so uh, what does an introduction tell the reader well it gives us maybe a bit of general information or interesting facts about the subject of the text so for us that's um, we're actually looking at the Egglander, aren't we? But that's been inspired by Perseverance, the, the um, rover landing on Mars. So we might give a bit of information about that. Um, and then thinking about the five W's as well. So where, when, why, who and what. OK, so at the end of your introduction, you will also need to tell the reader to follow your instructions if they want to make their own Mars lander. All right. Um, so that they know what your instructions are going to be about. So you've got some example introductions here, okay? Now I'm not going to read all of these out uh, simply because it, it would take quite a lot of time for me to do so. So have a look at them in your documents and what we want you to do is um, think about what you think the instructions are for. So what do you think the rest of the text would be about? What would it be telling you how to do? Um, is it a good introduction? Think about can you find the five W's? Are they included in these introductions we've given you? Um, and think about what can we magpie? Is there anything in here that you think, ah, oh, that's really well done? Maybe there's some language that you want to use or um, the way that they've structured it is really excellent. Take it, use it, okay? It's all about finding ways that we can um, merge our ideas with others. That's absolutely fine. All right, so that's your first task. So pause the video, have a look at these and do that first. I'm going to carry on, okay? So details we need those for our um, introduction all right so where did the landing happen of the actual landing of perseverance the rover well it happened on mars okay and all of these details are in your documents as well for you to use when did it happen okay well the rover was launched on the 30th of july 2020 and it landed on the 18th of february 2021 so it was in orbit for a long time why was the landing important? Well, Perseverance, which is the name of the rover, by the way, just in case you don't know, Perseverance will study the rocks in the landscape at the landing site to reveal the area's history. And the site that it landed at is actually, it once had the potential to host life. So they're trying to find out a bit more about that. Has there been life on, in space? Who was involved in the landing? Well, in general, NASA which stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, okay? Um, there are obviously individuals that have been involved in much more detail, but I think saying NASA is going to cover all of those. What was it? So not too much detail as this will be in your main part, but it was a rover, Perseverance, which will explore Mars. Okay, so we've got the five W's there with the information that you can use to create your introduction. So, I'm going to model how I would use my plan here, I've just put a few details here, um, and how I would turn that into an introduction, all right? So, uh, I'm going to say, so I've got what is the Perseverance rover, who was NASA, where Mars, when it was launched, when it, was, when it landed, and why. So I'm going to start with who? I'm going to start with NASA. So, NASA. NASA, and in brackets there, I might put uh, what NASA stands for, okay? So I'm just going to put a squiggly line there, just because uh, it will take some time to write it out, all right? But NASA uh, has recently um, landed a rover on Mars, named Perseverance. So I've done who, I've done where, uh, and I've done what, Perseverance Rover, full stop. Uh, then I might say, although it was launched, so I'm starting here, with a subordinate clause, it doesn't make sense on its own. Or 
although it was launched um, on 30th of July 2020, it didn't reach Mars until the 18th of February 2021. So I've done this one too. Um, then I might say, I still want to make sure I'm not being too repetitive. So instead of saying perseverance again, I might say the rover. The rover was sent to explore the site where life may have once lived. So may, I've got a modal verb there as well. Uh, and then remember, I need to also say at the end what this instructional text is going to do. Um, so I might say something like, um, uh, if you would like to create your own Mars rover. Actually, I'm going to say Mars lander because that's what we are doing really, isn't it? Uh, if you would like to create your own Mars lander, follow the instructions below. Okay, that would be my introduction. Now I've just done that very, very quickly and I, I have genuinely just made that up on the spot from my plan, okay? So there would definitely be places that I could edit there, things from my success criteria that I could definitely get in, all right? So, oh look, we're missing an E there. It's gonna be your turn now. Your turn to turn your plan that you created last lesson into an introduction, all right? That's all you're focusing on today. You don't have to worry about anything else. So uh, when you've finished writing that, you need to edit your introduction. So think about both finding mistakes and up-leveling, all right? Remember, try using the features that you rated most difficult from yesterday's lesson, or the lesson before, actually, I think it was, wasn't it? Have a go at adding those into your introduction if they're appropriate. If they're not, don't worry at all. But it might be, that if I went back to here, I could add something in. Um, so, could I add, well, let me look at my success criteria again. Um, I can't add my sequence steps here because that's going to be in my actual instructions part. Um, maybe I could add adverbs for precision, maybe. So I could say, if you would like to create your own Mars lander, I could say, carefully follow the instructions below. Carefully would be my adverb for precision, saying you must follow this carefully or it won't work. So I could M1, I would do this on my right hand page, obviously, but I'm just gonna pop it down here for now. And I'm going to say, carefully. All right, so hopefully you get the idea there and you must have edited by the end of this lesson too. Your introduction doesn't have to be that long, but we should be talking about the actual Mars lander perseverance so that people know where we got the idea from for our egg lander experiment, okay? And don't forget to bring it back to that at the end of your introduction. So you can magpie some bits from mine, that's absolutely fine, um, but make sure you're not just copying mine. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, that's the end, okay? So, Wednesday, you need to have finished your introduction today. 
Uh, and then Thursday, we're going to do the main body of the text. Friday, we're going to do your conclusion. And we're just going to write up that middle section. Okay? All right, good luck, guys. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. See you later. Bye.